Welcome back to the channel, Pokemaniacs. There is a new line of figures from Jazzwares showing up in stores. User Lemmy over on Discord posted up these photos that he found of Jazzwares' new Iridescent Shine collection of figures. Of course, it is the Kanto starters once again, but now they have this Iridescent Shine to them, which reminds me a lot of the pearlescent Funko Pops that we've been getting from Pokemon Center. So the shine looks good to me. I think it looks a little bit better than the metallic paint that they were using prior, but I'm just kind of over the Kanto starters, which I never thought I would say. Like, I'm just, it's the same figures over and over. I don't know. Tell me your thoughts on this down in the comments. Maybe you feel the same way. There was no specification though, if this is at GameStop or where this was, and I haven't seen any postings online for it. So I don't know, I think it's time to do the rounds. Let me know if you're finding these in stores. We have been seeing a lot of the vinyl figures popping up at a couple different stores though. And it seems as though the eight inch vinyl Jazzwares figures are popping up at GameStops. And it seems like there's like a new select figure line of two inch figures. I haven't seen these yet over in any of my stores, but up in Canada at GameStop, these popped up and supposedly in the line, there's gonna be Drillbur, Charcadet, Clefairy, and Impidimp. So I need to verify that one. So again, help me out down in the comments if you are seeing these things, especially my guys up in Canada, let me know. If you are hunting those eight inch vinyl figures though, Target did post up a couple new ones. We have the Pikachu and the Squirtle up online. So if you are hunting those, I'll make sure to link them down below for you, or I'll have one of them at least up here on the screen for you. Loungefly collectors, there is a new one out. Funko is really pushing these Loungefly things out. They've been going crazy lately. Anyways, this Loungefly bag is the Eevee Desserts mini backpack. Has a cute little Eevee on it with some treats on either side. And he's ready to chat out, and I can't blame him. I love dessert. Really cute pattern on the rest of the bag though, and at the $50 price point, we do have just a brown interior liner. It is in stock right now though over at Hot Topic. And on the topic of Funko Pops, we've got the Jumbo Dialga that released this past week. This is the 10 inch version of Dialga. I don't think they're gonna make a smaller version, but it's still available over at GameStop. So if you did miss that, I'll make sure to have that linked up for you. It's a pretty good looking figure. And pretty soon, I think on the 1st of November is what we're uh, estimated to get the Palkia Funko Pop. So be on the lookout. On the Japanese side of the house, we do have pre-orders open for the latest Pokemon Scale World figures of Bugsy and Scizor. Really solid looking figures here, and in fact, they are solid. There's no moving parts on these, just in case you're new to the Scale World figures. This figure, well, both of these figures, are slated to release in January of 2025. But if you need your figure fix a little bit sooner, there are these Moncali figures of Lapras, Claude Sire, and Mimikyu, which are really good figures, really affordable figures. I actually just recently got some of my own, uh, of Steven and of Metagross, regular form. I really like those figures. You can see they're kind of tiny, but like you can put them in a lot of different places and like your shelves or whatever. And even though Halloween's just, it's coming up real soon. But with that, the holidays come right after it, in case you didn't know. And we've got a preview of all of the holiday merch coming out at the Japanese Pokemon Center. This year, we've got a lot of plushie items. So of course, we've got to have some keychain plushies in there. There's a, like a snowman Pommy, there's Cubchu, Dedenne, and Esper. We also have these regular plushies of Pikachu, Shaman, and Mousehold. And then we have this cute little Wooloo pouch. There's fuzzy stickers, which apparently is a thing. There's some various clothing items like uh, sweaters, there's some socks as well as this wall tapestry. And then there's some garland to hang up around the house. There are some more regular traditional keychains in the collection, as well as some gift bags. So you can put some gifts in there, obviously. And a really like cool traditional style looking holiday advent calendar. I really like the look of this thing. And then there's even a Santa hat with some Pikachu ears. So super cute line, really love the theming on this. I think they did a great job. So looking forward to any future holiday items that they come out with in Japan. I will be getting into the English Pokemon Center holiday collection real soon. But first, we're gonna make a pit stop because one of the bigger items that released was the Beast Ball replica from the Wand Company. And this one doesn't just have the little light up ring on the front of it. The whole thing lights up with all of the little like lines that go across the ball. Super rad and is just one of the more interesting looking Pokeballs that are in the game. So let me know if you picked that one up yet. I, that one looks really good. I, it's a little expensive, 120 bucks. I'm very tempted to, pick, to pull the trigger on it though. We also got a new delicious adventure figure. This time around, we've got Yamper munching down on some Galarian curry, which is what the region is kind of known for. It's what we make in the games. And Yamper, after chowing down, is chilling right there, taking a little post-meal nap. So really cute figure. 
And now the big thing, we've, we've got the Christmas line of products up on the English Pokemon Center. This, this it's a massive drop that they did. So there's different, there's, I'm not gonna be able to cover everything, but they have fun like little stockings to hang up. We've got winter and like holiday themed ornaments up on the shop. We've got gloves, socks, there's headbands, beanies. There's this rad like Cyndaquil, Litten, fire type figure. I think that looks really good. There's a Christmas tree accessories. We've got pajamas and like loungewear. There's other themed figures you can put up like on your fireplace. Like there's one of like a train that has a few different figures in it. And then there's like these little like village cabin ones that they all just kind of go together in this big theme. And this, this lineup is huge. So if you're interested in any of this, make sure to hop over to Pokemon Center and just check it all out. Cause there's just so much to cover there. Like this video, would, that section alone would probably be like eight minutes long. With the drop of all of those collectible items though, there was also the announcement of a couple of in-person events that are happening out in California. So over in Anaheim, if you go over to the Garden Walk from 10 a.m. to 8 p.m. on December 7th and the 8th, or 10 a.m. to 8 p.m. on December 14th and 15th at the Broadway Plaza in Walnut Creek, California, you can have opportunities to take photos with Holiday Pikachu, Holiday Eevee, all in some winter wonderland setting is what they're saying. I don't have any photos of it. Plus, first 1,000 attendees will be getting Pokemon booster packs of the cards. And then throughout the event, there's going to be some giveaways. So that's pretty cool. And then Pokemon also announced that throughout the all of the games in the franchise, there's going to be some holiday themed activities that will be coming through. So we'll keep an eye out on as those get announced in Scarlet and Violet, Pokemon Go, Pokemon Sleep. I'm sure Pokemon Unite will be in there. Pokemon Cafe, uh, I know I'm forgetting, Pokemon Masters, there's a lot of apps, man. And speaking of a lot, we've got a lot of Pokemon to go catch if you have not completed your Pokedex in Scarlet and Violet, all of the core game and the DLCs. Better get after it because if you do that and upload it to Pokemon Home, you'll be able to get yourself a shiny Meloetta. So, completing the Paldean Pokedex, the Kitakami Pokedex, and the Blueberry Pokedex, once you deposit all of those into Pokemon Home, you'll be able to get shiny Meloetta in the mobile device version of Pokemon Home. So you'll download it through that and then it'll show up everywhere else in Pokemon Home. And then on November 15th, we will have the Latin American International Championships coming up. And during those live streams, we're gonna have a chance to get quite a few free Pokemon. So in Scarlet and Violet, we'll be able to get a shiny Pelipper based off of Patrick Connors Pelipper. And then in Pokemon Go, we'll have user out of pockets for alligator that we'll be able to get and then in the ptcgl we'll have a code for a pikachu ex plus there's going to be twitch drops throughout the stream so we can get free packs of cards in the ptcgl as well as time to research in pokemon go and i do want to take just a quick sec and just say thank you good to you guys uh, the last couple of weeks has just been insanely busy for me with like work and personal life and everything so i've fallen behind quite a bit on comments so thank you for for being patient with me and just you know, it's taken me a few days, like a week, to respond to some comments. I do apologize. And thank you guys for checking out my opening of the Cerule Edge figure, leaving feedback. I was really trying to get that video out a couple days sooner than I did, but, you know, it is what it is. And I just appreciate you guys watching, leaving the feedback. Like, it was amazing. And shout out to Taco King for sending me over that Pokemon Go ticket. Like, dude, that was, I mean, it's a couple bucks, but, like, still, like, thank you so much. No, you guys rock. Thank you. Just thank you. All right, in card news, GameStop and PSA have teamed up to provide a new service through GameStop. They have combined their powers to now allow you to come into participating GameStop locations to ship off to PSA for grading. Right now, it's estimating a 45-day turnaround time, and pricing is $15.99 per card for anything up to an estimated $200 value, and $19.99 per card for anything estimated up to $500 in value. Shipping is a flat $4.99, though, so that's... Kind of nice, I guess. Like In some ways, that's a little bit cheaper than subscribing to uh, PSA directly. Once the cards are graded, you'll get an email to come back into the store, pick up your cards, and then from there, you can either choose to keep them or, of course, in true GameStop fashion, trade them into the store for store credit. Now, whether they give you like an actually fair price or you trade it in for like $1.50, I don't know, we'll have to see. And then a while back, Pokemon did say that they were gonna be partnering with Wild Brain, who makes the smart TV app Pluto TV and they were going to migrate all of the older episodes of Pokemon from Netflix over to Pluto TV and we now finally have a launch date and it's tomorrow October 22nd we're going to be able to download the Pluto TV app on our smart TVs and be able to watch the Pokemon episodes with ads 
But, I mean, it's not that bad. But this way you can go back, relive some memories, maybe introduce your younger Pokemon trainers to some of the older generations of the episodes. Or, I mean, XY and XYZ, those, oof, those are such good, good, that was a great series. Let me know your favorite generation of anime down in the comments. And it would be my favorite thing if you hit that like button on your way out. Subscribe if you haven't already. Maybe share the video with a friend. Take care of each other out there. And I'll see you very soon on the next one.